For generations, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals lived near one another. But how close were we? For decades, most assumed interbreeding between our two species didn't happen. But in the early 2000s, this was called into question. With the chance discovery of fossil fragments, which revealed humans with a mysterious mix of features. It even smells like a fossil. This, I assume, is Owasso 1. This one is Owasso 1. And that's Owasso oh, 2. That's Owasso 2. This is quite special, because I've read about them. I've studied them. They're hugely significant fossils, but I've never... I've never seen the originals. I've never been this close to them. It's... We excavated for two years. We unearthed uh, like uh, more than 10,000 uh, uh, fossil remains, mostly cave bear, but also was it too. And it looks and it is a uh, modern Homo sapiens, yeah. but it has some features which, um, which are more like Neanderthal, yeah. like this one. It's quite clear. It's a mandible of a modern human with this, this chin. It's, there's a the, chin. The chin, yeah. And Neanderthals yeah. don't have a chin. Neanderthals' chin kind of recedes. But then you, you see the, the size of the moors. Yeah which are really huge. More a Neanderthal feature. Modern sapiens, yeah. but with Neanderthal teeth. Yeah, what's it too? Has the same uh, hybrid features. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at the face. You look at that and you, you do think that's Homo sapiens. And then it has these features on it, which are more Neanderthal, like this occipital bun here at the back, that bulge at the back of the skull here. Yeah, that's kind of strange. It's not a Neanderthal, but it's, it has Neanderthal features, which prompt us to think about some sort of interbreeding. Neanderthal, Homo sapiens interbreeding, it was pretty controversial. People thought it either didn't happen because we were too genetically distinct. People were just not ready to accept that. Interbreeding is not, it's not something uh, uncommon in biology. It happens with other species. At that time, it was somehow taboo. Around a decade later came a revolutionary breakthrough. Advances in genetic analysis allowed scientists to extract DNA from ancient fossils, proving these two species could, and did, produce offspring. 